Gab is sensing pretty specific hand movements. It can tell that I'm pinching my hand or that I'm doing this. How can it tell, how does that work? How can it tell exactly what I'm doing, if that I'm doing this and not this? So there are two things here. First of all, the sophisticated algorithm that we have uh, enable a re to, to build a rich language of gestures. So we can have like, you know, like an unlimited number of, of gestures, the same as we do as humans. What we want to do, we don't want to teach the users how to interact with the devices. We want to teach the devices how to un better understand the users. So the same way that I'm, you know, I'm talking with you right now and I'm, I'm using my hand, the device, either the TV, the mobile, or the PC can understand my hand movements and allow me to better control him. So if I will do this, for example, the TV will know that I want to mute it. the company behind Point Grab, how you came up with and executed the idea for the gesture control technology. So when Point Grab started in 2008, the first idea was to try to enhance the experience of a mouse and a keyboard for a PC. And then we came up with this technology and the first reaction that we got is uh, why to fix something that is not broken. And then we thought what we can do with this great technology. And the second thing that uh, we had in mind is to uh, use it for TVs. Uh, which is very self-explanatory. Instead of you know just uh, looking for my uh, remote control every time that I want to adjust the volume or just pause the movie, I can just use my hand. And uh, this is what uh, very good in our solution that it can be used from different distances. So I can use it for a close range to control my mobile or my uh, PC, but I can also use it from up to 17 feet in order to use my uh, TV. So when Point Grab started in 2008, did you already have the technology down pat, or was that kind of when you had the idea, now let's try to figure out how we can do it? So we started with an idea, and we had like a very good uh, R&D people, the engineers that build the solution very quickly, and uh, then we bring it to, to the industry, and the first product was launched in 2010. Uh, it was a PC with Fujita, and then back uh, at the beginning in 2012, we launched the first TV product with Samsung.